Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked with a friend of mine. He's ex-military and uh, now a private contractor, still doing military stuff. Now he looks young, but uh, I think he might be a bit older than what he looks. and Because uh, he's really an experienced veteran, was very high up in the ranks when he retired. And uh, his work as a contractor is so valuable that when he was in Iraq, he was required to have his cell phone with him at all times. And he had to check in every two hours. Uh, and I don't know whether he couldn't or just wouldn't tell me what he actually does. Uh, I suspect it has something to do with intelligence. Real nice guy. He's a real nice guy. Uh, quiet. Absolutely no bluster. But uh, you can tell. <laughs> Wouldn't be a good idea to mess with him. Now, one of his sidelines is he's a promoter. And I've done comedy shows with him before. As a matter of fact, when I went to Iraq... He was the promoter that brought me there. Stayed there for about a month. Uh, our tour was a bit unusual because he uh, made sure that we didn't just do the major bases in uh, Baghdad. We went all over the country doing the forward operating bases. Some of them were pretty big. Some of them were surprisingly small, like uh, about the size of a city block maybe. Uh, and, and no matter what bases we went to, uh, no matter what bases we went to, we heard the same thing every day. The soldiers would say, oh, oh, we get attacked every day. And this was when things were good. This was after the surge. This is when we were starting to get ready to leave. And uh, uh, things were considered to be quiet. And we have left. And the war may be over for us. But <laughs> it's still going on over there in Iraq. They're having stuff being blown up and attacks and stuff like that on each other, sectarian violence every day. So uh, my friend called me, and uh, I asked him what he'd been doing, and he mentioned that he'd uh, recently got back from Afghanistan. And so I asked him, uh, hey, are we going to do a show over there? And uh, he said... I don't think it would be a good idea to bring anybody in. Now that tells you something. If things are worse in Afghanistan than they were in Iraq, when we were getting attacked every day, they must be pretty bad. Now I'd still go over there. Hey, you know, <laughs> that's the kind of situation where the troops really need entertainment. But I got to thinking, obviously, the surge we did over there didn't work. As a matter of fact, uh, it's pretty obvious that the violence has been increasing instead of decreasing. The central government still only controls uh, a very limited amount of the country. Large parts are totally outside the government control. It's just the tribes. And I don't think things are going to be any different when we leave in 2014. Afghanistan is going to be what Afghanistan is going to be. Now, there maybe we had a chance to stabilize the country right after we routed the Taliban. Uh, but... Uh, I don't know if it would have worked for sure, 
but it sure would have. We, we we definitely had our chance then. But Bush, his administration took their eye off the ball, decided to start a war in Iraq, and left Afghanistan on the back burner. And by the time Obama turned his focus back to Iraq, Afghanistan, it was way too late. And it won't matter if we leave tomorrow or 50 years from now or 2014. Afghanistan is going to continue to be uh, a divided nation, a tribal nation, and they will battle each other just as they've been battling us. And I don't think uh, I don't think the Taliban is going to be able to take over, because nobody really liked them anyway. But different tribes will control their areas, and Afghanistan will not be a functioning country. So we didn't make things any better in Afghanistan and we made things a lot worse in Iraq and we spent a lot of money and got a lot of people killed and injured doing that. I hope we'll remember that as people start beating the drum for war with Iran. I don't know whether we're going to be able to avoid a war with them or not. But we should make sure we do every last thing because, boy, let me tell you something. It's a lot easier to start a war than to finish one. And you can win a few battles. But nowadays, you can't win a war. It just goes on forever. Thanks for listening.